Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I am Extreme Tech Solutions and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make your Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 PC boot up a hell of a lot quicker. <laughs> Now before I go ahead and get into this tutorial, I want to go ahead and redirect you to my other channel. That's why I have another channel and as you can see here, I do games, tech and reviews on this channel also. Mainly games and a few tech pieces like that, but hopefully all the tech is going to be on the channel that you're watching now, which is Extreme Tech Solutions very soon. But if you could go ahead, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and you'll see any gaming news and you'll also be able to see any vlogs that I create like this one here in the future now that's enough of self advertisement let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so this all depends on how many processors you have in your computer if you've got a single core processor then this isn't going to be helping you out at all so i just recommend that you go and close the video and there is nothing you can do in a way now if you are not sure then there is many ways you, you can go ahead and check you can use google you can do anything but I'm just going to quickly explain to you guys what a processor is and what happens if you have multiple processors. Now, if you guys already know this, you can go ahead and skip this part of the video, but this is just for people that don't know what a multi-core processor is. Now, a processor is what runs your computer. Think of it as the brain, the brain of the computer. So, with only, say, one brain, you can only do one brain amount of power or processing. Now, if you've got two brains, which would equivalent to a two-core processor, i.e. two brains, you're going to be double as quick at doing what you do. Now, different computers have different amount of cores or processors. Now, it does get confusing, but don't worry about it. Just go ahead and follow this tutorial, and you'll see if you can do it or not. So, what you want to go ahead and do, now if you're on Windows 7, you can click on the little start window, Windows start button on the bottom left hand corner. Same for Windows 8 and same for Windows um, 10. I'm running Windows 10, so I'm going to be showing you it this way. And I'm also going to show you how to do it on Windows 7. And if you're on 8.1, you can kind of guess what you're going to do if you know your way around your operating system. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do and I, is either click this little button down here if you're on Windows 7 and you will get this little search bar somewhere. Or if you're on Windows 10, you can click, you just simply just click on that little button. And you want to just go ahead and type in run. Now, there is many ways that you could just run this application. You can either go right-click, open file location, double-click it here, or you can close that, close that, and then type in run again, and simply just click enter on your keyboard, or click it with your mouse, however you want to do. Now, I'll leave this little bit that I'm about to type in in the description below, just in case you don't want to type it in. It's pretty simple, but it's there if you guys need it. Go ahead and type in msconfig, that is ms. C-O-N-F-I-G, and then go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard, or you can click OK with your mouse. Once you've done that, you'll be brought up to this awesome little mysterious window that you probably haven't seen before. It's called System Configuration, and you will want to ignore all the other tabs that are there. You want to go ahead and go straight to boot. Now, as you can see, this is how it's going to make your computer boot up a hell of a lot faster. So you want to go ahead and click ignore all this and click advanced options. Now this is where you'll know if you are able to do this tutorial. So you want to go ahead and click number of processors. Do never, never, ever, ever click maximum memory because for some reason, I don't know what it is, but it kind of messes the computer up. Boots weirdly, just ignore that. Just go ahead and tick number of processes. If it isn't, if it's ticked already and there's one there, then that's all good. But this is where, like I said before, you will find out if you can actually do this tutorial and if you can physically make your PC or laptop boot up a lot quicker. Now, if you go ahead and tick that, like I've previously said the past three times, go ahead and click this little drop down menu and you see how many processes you've got. So, as I said before, I related it to brains. That's what I was comparing it to. If you've got one brain, you can have one brain power. Two, three, four, five, six. The bigger the number, the better and the faster your PC is going to boot up. Now, for me, I'm going to go ahead and click on six because my computer is a six core processor. Now, if your computer is only a two core processor, it will only display two. It really doesn't matter. There, there is no actual kind of uh, number that you have to specifically click on. It all depends on how many processes your, or sorry, how many cores your processor has, 
And if it doesn't have um, five cores, it won't show you five numbers. It'll only show you whatever number your processor is. So just don't get confused. Just simply click on the drop down menu and select the highest possible number from the list that is provided. I'm going to go ahead and hit six because that's how many cores my processor has. You're going to want to go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to want to go ahead and also click apply with your mouse and then click OK again. Now your computer is going to prompt you with another system configuration window and it says you may need to restart your computer to apply these changes before restarting save any open files and close all programs you don't have to close all programs but I recommend it if you want to and I definitely recommend you saving any word documents or any important files that you have open or sign out of anything you think may cause an issue and then you want to go ahead and click restart now if you're doing anything important and you want it to wait for a little bit you can go ahead and click exit without restart but do remember if you want it to work and you want the changes or settings to be applied you will have to restart your pc at some point it could be shut down or restart but i do recommend restarting your pc now i'm not going to do this i'm going to click exit without restart because i will need to do this after i have finished this video so guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. If you disliked it, go ahead and put a little thumbs down, which I'll be very sad if you do. And if you really enjoyed this video and you want to see any other tutorials, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button to see future content. I'm Mr. Gamer Pro, aka Extreme Tech Solutions, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.